please stop this man, he's causing damage. I demand. You on these tracks, they say he's like a vandal. Show some manners for a legend in the making, damn it. Harness power from the sun, I'm like a solar panel. Peaks and valleys, new Havana's insight from my nana. That's my grandma. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. What you are watching in the background is a little bit of Destiny, a little bit of Mayhem Clash which is the iron banner slash lag banner that we all like to play. And it should be a fairly obvious reason why I'm bringing Destiny to you, for you to watch for your viewing pleasure. And that is because, I'm so excited, the reveal for Destiny 2 is coming this Thursday. It's coming at quarter to six UK time. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Now, to give you... A bit of background in terms of me and Destiny to anybody that's new to my channel or new to listening to me waffle and piffle on a little bit. Destiny is a game that is very close to my heart. It's what I first originally properly cut my teeth on with YouTube in terms of growing my channel. And it still holds the record for my most viewed video ever. Uh, and it was one that we did on a Skolast cheese with the Titan Bubbles where we just constantly had Titan Bubbles up all the time. And I think that got over... I mean, mind you, we're saying that the video was like 23 minutes long and it's had uh, near enough 15,000 views or just over 15,000 views, something like that anyways, you can go back and check. And oddly to date, one of still one of my most viewed videos per month in terms of level of consistency is the Entropy, Entropy's uh, Pinnacle Hard quest um, that I did uh, when me and Shortbread did a video on that and we, we did it... <laughs> just from the start to the finish and everybody seems to watch that video religiously it'll get a couple of hundred views every single month it's just it's really bizarre but you know I ain't gonna knock it it's a video that does quite well and it keeps me up there I used to do all sorts of videos with sparrow racing rages used to do raids used to do funny parts of raids and all that kind of stuff I've got I think roughly speaking Somewhere in the region of about 1,200 to 1,300 hours in this game. My mate Shortbread has got way more than that. We were working it out a few days ago. or no, Not a few days ago, a couple of months ago. I have something like 60 to 70 days solid invested in this game. Shortbread has over 100 days invested in this game. It is phenomenal. This game we played religiously every single night, seven days a week, and we put in quite a few hours every time that we played it. Be that going through the story mode to get all the find all the little bits and pieces to get the grimoire cards, the ghosts, going and doing the nightfall strikes, all of that kind of stuff. And we got fed up with doing nightfalls because we never did it. I was one of the last people in my group to get a Galahorn. To get a Galahorn. I was so upset. And I remember because I got it out of a legendary heavy weapon engram. Just madness. And for me, Destiny has just been... I, I, I loved the game. I can't stress how much I loved the game. I think everybody got a bit fed up with it coming towards the end of its life cycle because there was just little things that weren't quite right. We felt like we were being taken the piss of by the developers. Deej would come up with his little weekly updates and you just wanted to punch the poor bastard in the face. But just little things that we just found slightly annoying. And then it started to get a little bit repetitive towards the end. And there wasn't really very much left to grind for. Um, I mean, we still did Iron Banner. We still did Nightfall Strikes. The thing that we played the most amount of time on was Raids. And that's the big thing that I wanted to say about Destiny is that we had a really, really good time where we would get people in, and I'm not kidding, when I'm from, from all over the world, a group of strangers coming together to do the raid and have a laugh. And every now and then you'd bump into that one person who you would just consider to be the Oracle. I remember we bumped into this one guy, um, I think he was Australian, had the deepest voice that I'd ever heard in my entire life. But he just knew his shit and knew what he was doing and we listened and we did exactly what he said and we did it. And it was just phenomenal. There is nothing better than <laughs> the amount of times where we've gone, yeah, I'm going to come on for a couple of hours tonight. It's like Friday night. You go on for a couple of hours, do maybe a couple of nightfalls, maybe do a raid in about two hours or whatever. And then out of nowhere, you've blinked and it's four o'clock the following morning because you just need to get this one little bit done. Somebody's dropped out or somebody's just backed out. I can't begin to tell you how much I love Destiny. And I am so looking forward to Destiny 2. I'm looking forward to seeing what new story is going to be in it, what new lore is going to be in it. 
um, new weapons, new characters, new enemies, all the new sort of classes that you've got, your special abilities, all of that kind of stuff. I am so looking forward to how that is going to pan out and how it's going to feel to have a brand new, fresh game. My biggest thing for this is that I hope and I pray that they do the DLC a little bit better than what they did it with Destiny. Just in terms of keeping it going with content. The thing that they did get right was obviously doing sort of them little events, sort of like the like the Halloween events or the Christmas events or the Valentine's events. That type of thing always worked out really, really well and it was just something a little bit different to grind for and have a bit of a go at. So I hope that they kind of still keep that fresh and keep that going. For me, it's multiplayer where they need to put in the most amount of effort. The biggest problem with multiplayer is the, is the P2P connection because it kills it. The, every, I don't need to go into too much detail about it. Everybody knows how bad the connection can be when you're doing multiplayer sometimes in Destiny. And I don't know how it always worked out the way that it did, but we'd be playing against somebody that was Red Baron and they'd win. We'd get a Red Baron on our team and we'd lose. You just couldn't work out how that was doing. Or they'd be getting sniped through a wall, or they'd be getting golden gun through a wall by somebody stood in the map. Just that type of stuff. I just hope, hope and pray that they sort that out. And my other little thing, the Trials of Osiris, if they're going to do something a little bit similar to that, and I know the whole thing about Trials of Osiris is that it's got to be hard because it's got to be sweaty and all that kind of stuff. I want them to make either a casual version or just make it a little bit less of what it was before in terms of the sweatiness and I hope that it that they get a little bit better weapon balance this time around so there's not like just the same guns that everybody uses all of the time and that there's a little bit more variety to the gameplay and please don't make shotguns OP because that's a little bit annoying but what I will be doing is probably on Friday I'll have a video just of my reaction to the reveal update because I think it's important this is a big game for Bungie. They've done phenomenally well since they moved away from the Halo franchise and they did a really good job with Destiny. A phenomenally, to make a game last three years takes some doing without a shadow of a doubt. So, I have high hopes. Please Bungie, please don't let me down. That's all that I'm going to ask. That's all that I'm going to ask. That's going to do it for this one guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you're looking forward to, what your biggest fears are. What you think that they need to put right for me, it's the connections in the in the, uh, in the the P2P, in the multiplayer mode. That's the biggest thing that they need to get sorted out and probably the weapon balancing again. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. This has been OG Gibbon, and I'm so excited it's given me the fizz. Destiny reveal is inbound, people. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.